Timur Kutlug, like Takdamish, traced his ancestry from the eastern Central Asian branch of the Tukatimirids. Despite their kinship, their relationship was hostile. When Takdamish ascended to the Golden Horde throne, Timur Kutlug, along with Edic and several other nobles, fled from the Golden Horde to the Shagatai Ulus to Timurlenk. On the side of Timurlenk, he fought with Takdamish in Central Asia and helped the Samarkand ruler in the campaign against the Horde, after which Takdamish lost his throne and was expelled. Having defeated Takdamish, Timurlung installed his candidate Kweridzak as Khan over the Horde and returned to Central Asia. After his departure, Timur Kutlug overthrew Kweridzak and himself became Khan. Timur Kutlug did not have outstanding talents as a commander, but his mentor and chief advisor was Beklierbek Edic. Timur Kutlug remained in power only thanks to his support. Takdamish persistently tried to make his way to the Horde capital in order to overthrow Timur Kutlug and regain the throne. But Edic successfully repelled Takdamish's attacks each time. In Vienna there is a unique document published by Timur Kutlug, the Khan's label the Turkic text of which is written in Uyghur script and accompanied by an Arabic transcription in red ink. In this label from 1398, Timur Kutlug listed the privileges he granted to Muhammad, the son of Baram Koja, who lived in Crimea in the vicinity of Sudak. There is no information about who exactly this Muhammad was but it is known that in the city of Crimea there used to be a mosque built by this figure in 1405 at the city gates. Timur Kutlug died suddenly, as he allegedly claimed from drunkenness, but it is more likely that Edic, who was disappointed in Khan and wanted to elevate a more obedient protege to the throne, was behind this.